بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ ہم یو آئی ہوپ یو آر انجوائنگ دی بیسٹ آف ہیلپ آئی ویلکم یو ان مائی کلاس دیٹ از انگلش فور گریڈ فائیو وی آر لرننگ یونٹ فور اٹس ٹائٹل از آ بیٹر پلیس مائی ڈیئر فیلو ٹیچرس دس لیسن پلان پاور پوائنٹ پریزنٹیشن اینڈ ورک شیٹ لنکس آر گیون یو میک لک اٹ ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ فالو اٹ ایز اٹ از اور موڈیفائڈ فار یور کمیونٹیز So my dear students, today we are going to learn about collective nouns. Before this, in your previous class, you have learned about collective nouns. I hope you remember the concept and we are going to learn further to recall and demonstrate use of more collective nouns. This is our today's essay. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Hujrat, verse 13. O humanity, indeed we created you from a male and a female and made you into peoples of and tribes so that you may get to know one another. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us like we all are same. We all are the progeny of Prophet Adam and Ammahawa alayhi salam, right? So the only purpose of making us in tribes and in different, so that we can recognize each other and there is no other purpose of that, right? That's why beta, we should treat each other equally. We all are same and this is the message for all human beings, all humanity, all, all people, all the human beings, right? So such type of words, humanity, people, tribes. Do you remember what are they called in grammar? Okay, so tell me, what is a noun? What do you remember about it? And what did you know about collection and nouns like army, staff, herd? You have studied about it in your previous grades. So pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come. Yes, my dear students, I hope you remember now everything around us which we can feel, touch, hold or see is called a noun. It may refer to a person, place or thing, right? When this name refers to a, a general, it is called common noun. When it is referred to particular, it is called particular noun. So what this message is we are getting from here, it means We can categorize nouns into different categories as it's common and proper noun, right? Countable and uncountable nouns, we have already studied. So one of the category is collective noun as well, okay? What is collective noun? Collective nouns are words that represent groups of people, animal or things. So what does it mean? One word, one noun is representing a big group. There are many, maybe many people, many things, many animals, but we are using one word to show a big number, right? Such type of nouns are known as collective nouns. Here are more collective nouns that are used for groups of people, animal or things. For example, shawl of fish. So whenever I say shawl of fish, it, is, it means a big group of fish, a huge number of fish, all right? Brood of chicken, right? A big group of chicken. Band of musicians, of course. When I say band of musicians, it means a group of musicians together. That's why we call it a band. Do you understand so such type of words are known as collective nouns? class of pupils, the way you are sitting in your classroom, class of pu pupils. So class means there are more than one student, they are sitting together in the same classroom. This is how one noun, one word is representing a group, that's why it is called a collective noun, okay. Flight of stairs, deck of cards, because there are many cards together, okay, deck of cards. Litter of cubs, litter of cubs. Collection of 
books. There are many books together, collection of books. I have, I have a huge collection of books, okay? So this is a collective noun. So this is how it has one word represent a group, and that is called a collective noun. We have already studied about it. We practice few new collective nouns today. So we are going to learn in it further in detail through an activity. What we are going to do, your teacher is going to divide class in small teams. Ensure that every team has a dictionary, okay? And assign each team a different range of letters. For example, team one could be assigned A to D, team two E to H. Likewise, teacher, you will assign alphabets to each group. So simply divide 26 by the number of teams you have. Instruct the team to look through their assigned letters to find collective nouns. So whatever the letter range you have assigned to one group, within that range, they will find out all the collective nouns from dictionary. Remind them to write down collective nouns they already know and then use the dictionary to discover new ones. So in this way, you are going to learn many new collective nouns, inshallah. As a hint, Remind them to look the names of groups, people, animals, a flock of birds, for example, okay? While the teams are working, divide the board into columns so that each team has a column as team to write list of collective nouns in their respective column on board and allow the teams to review list on board or challenge the words. They may disagree, right? So what we are going to do first, you will assign letters to each group and then they will find out collective nouns within those letters from the dictionary. Okay, so this is interesting and students will keep listing out. In this way, they are going to learn many new collective nouns from dictionary. So pause the video, enjoy this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now let's practice it from your book. All of you do this question number 11 in your box. So when you are done with it, kindly come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now I'm giving you homework. You will write 10 sentences using collective nouns. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students to practice the collective nouns. So what we have learned today, we learned to recall and demonstrate the use of more collective nouns and we issued our SLO to recall and demonstrate use of more collective nouns. Are we done with it? Yes, we, we are done with many collective nouns today. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take really good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.